Welcome to Ask Janet, where I share tips and guidance to help you maximize your personal and your leadership effectiveness. Do you think you're too old to start something new? Several weeks ago, I was having a conversation with a client and a friend, a former client and a friend, who had just left her corporate job and was recovering from some failing health issues that she had. And at age 53, really wanted to start her new interior design business, but was having major doubts about nothing other than her age. Probably as you're hearing this story and as, as I heard the words, I was thinking to myself, well, of course you're not too old to do this. While there are certainly physical limitations like and practical limitations, like you're not gonna go become an athlete or a professional athlete at a certain age because you're just not, right? There, there are physical limitations to that. Laura Ingalls Wilder published her famous Little House on the Prairie book and then the series, the rest of the books, when she was 65 years old. Colonel Sanders started Kentucky Fried Chicken when he was 62. Ray Kroc began working with the McDonald's Enterprise when he was 51. Louise Hay was 52 when she published the book, You Can Heal Your Life, and became this self-improvement guru well into, the, well into her 80s. Morgan Freeman, the actor, was 52 when he had that breakout appearance and became famous in Driving Miss, da Driving Miss Daisy. The Zagats, you know those Zagat guides that you read? They were in their 50s when they left their jobs to pursue their dream of writing those guides. So do I need to go on? There are so many examples of people who pursue their dream and do the things that they always wanted to do later in life. So if your age is what's holding you back from starting to do something you love or you dream of, it's time to let go of that self-sabotaging thought pattern and reframe it. What would you do if you didn't think your age was a factor? What would you dream of doing? And what steps can you take right now to make that dream a reality? How can you make the most of every single moment right now, right now that you're alive, to bring you closer to what you dream of doing? And what are you waiting for? The reality is, now is all we have. So stop wasting it and stop being afraid of it and do it. Thanks for watching. And always remember this, every single moment you have a choice in what you say, what you do, and how you make people feel. Pause and choose those behaviors wisely because those choices are who you become.